Oh, I'm gonna have to keep scrolling so that the intro doesn't play every two seconds. Anyways, hello everyone and welcome to Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. It's important to note that this is going to be the PSP version of the game. Now, why is this so important? Well, it's because unlike its predecessor, Persona 2 Innocent Sin for the PSP, this game, which is supposed to be the second half of Persona 2, didn't get ported to the West, meaning there was literally no English translation of this game that was made by Atlas. It just stayed in Japan. It was a missed opportunity. It sucked balls. Um, but as you can see, clearly, we have a beautiful English menu of the PSP version of Eternal Punishment. And this is all thanks to Sayuchin and a group of independent fans that have made their own English patch of the game, which is currently available on GitHub. And it's pretty cool how they do it. They basically have you bring your own backup of the game which you have to buy or sail the high seas for, which I do not condone, by the way. And I have purchased my own physical PSP disc version of the game along with a PSP so that I could get my own backup of the game. Do with that as you will. Uh, just know that I did have to get prepared for this. And what I did was I replayed Innocent Sin to remind myself what was going on, mostly because when I tried to let's play the PS1 localization of this game, it was like literally destroying the two brain cells that I had because the names were different, the plot was different. I was so confused. So when this was announced last month, I was like, hell yeah. And at the same time, I was like, hell no. Because by the time they announced this English patch, I was already like, I think 30 hours into the PS1 version of the game, which just sucks balls. Anyways, now that I'm big brain, I should be good to go. And now that I've gotten that intro out of the way, we're going to get right into it. Let me look into my config real quick. Uh, message speed fast. BGM volume. Eh, lower it by a bit. I want to raise the voice volume. Sound effect volume. Cool. Ah, uh, yes. Save region. Innocent sin save region. Oh, I heard that we can transfer our save file from innocent sin. PSP version to this game and we're gonna go hard nope hard on hard difficulty the following rules apply enemies will deal more damage and you will deal less damage you cannot escape from battles SP cannot be recovered by walking this is going to be a pain in my ass but it's persona palooza hard mode all the way uh remix if you have data from persona 2 innocent sin PSP you can import the data before you start the game Doing so may change some events. Now, this is what I was missing. All right, import the save. And there it is, level 72, Zabalba, 81 hours. I do this out of my own need to just have everything in order. I literally wasted 81 hours of my life replaying this game just so that I could do this. Oh, hopefully the story is is more coherent than it was before and hopefully i can speak proper english for once anyways enter load complete perfect characters are in storylines depicted in this game are purely a work of fiction i believe we saw this cutscene in the original version as well And this was at the end of uh, Innocent Sin. They bumped into each other. Philemon, my dude. Always watching over Tatsuya. so depressed. Did you lose something important? <sighs> I lost my cool protagonist lighter flick from the last game. I see. 
You didn't lose anything. You found your memories. Humans are such sinful creatures. This place was so lively with activity. As time passes, things dear are forgotten. Would you be better off forgetting them or remembering them? You've been enslaved by this dilemma. What are you, a psychiatrist? Get the hell out of here. I ain't got that kind of money. That's right. I remember now. A sin that must not exist. How do I atone? Somewhere. Conference room. Right. This is a thing. I sort of remember. We will now begin the ritual of Kotodama. Well then, Gozen, please proceed. Bowing their heads several times. Be gone with the booty clap. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Good job on the coverage. There's a letter for you, Maya san, but there's no return address on it. Uh, thanks, book. Who could it be from? Maya Amano, editor of Kismet Publishing's teen magazine Coolest, the game's main character. So far, there's been no grammatical issues, which is a great sign of things to come. You're next, Joker. Dun, 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 what? It's so weird for Maya not to talk. She was like a big focal point of the first half of the game, like her being cheery and like believing in everything and stuff. All right. Amano Senpai, the chief wants to see you. It must be rough, always getting the difficult jobs. Even if I work hard, it does no good. Dreams and reality are such... Uh, maybe I should just quit. It's okay, Bob. You can do it. Hopefully they can explain that fortune-telling thing with that mysterious woman better in this translation. There you are, Amano. Coolest is editor-in-chief who hates Maya, an experienced woman who goes by the book... 30-something and still not married. Chief Mizuno. You know why you were called in, right? That interview project you turned in, Dream of the Rumor Student, was crap. It's boring. It has no impact. Who would want to read about a green brat? Huh? That's a half-hearted answer. Doesn't matter anyways. I'm having you cover the Joker rumor. The kids are saying that the recent series of murders are the work of the Joker. Get your ass over to Seven Sisters High and get the scoop. I'm taking my Uzumi off this job so you'll be on your own. Oh, by the way, you can just forget about this afternoon, the time off you asked for. If you don't like it, I've got plenty of other reporters that would love to take your spot, so what are you waiting for? Right. I'm gonna give her the dopey voice this time because she's an ass. Young people these days, they can't work, but they can sure sh argue. Literally not one word of argument from Maya, but sure. Boomer. Maya-san, someone named Serizawa called for you while you were in that meeting. She said she'd meet you at the reception area. Yukino Mayuzumi, Maya's ex-partner and apprentice. She's not really an employee at Kismet, but an assistant photographer hired by Fuji. Wait, you're going to a party, huh? To hell with the weekends. Sometimes you just gotta have a good time. All this fuss about Armageddon and Grand Cross and nothing happened this summer. The more hype, the more people complain. 
Amano-san, you're doing the Joker story, right? They found another corpse yesterday. It looked like it had been eaten. That's scary. They said that the Joker is a demon user. I hope nothing happens to you. Don't worry, we're the main character. Amano, you're born in July, right? So you're a dragon of light, and February is blue dragon. Damn, we're not compatible. I fucking... I... I hate that astrology shit. The number of victims is in the double digits. What the hell are the police doing? My friend at a journalist club says that the police haven't gotten a lead. I guess that's why there are so many rumors. More wreckage at that construction site. There has to be something under this city. Man, I want to go to the city department. Help me sort these Wang Long letters. Things boomed when the fortunes came true. Now letters requesting fortunes pour in. Do you know that Guardian Dragon stuff all the girls are talking over the net? It's a Feng Shui style Wang Long. Made easier to understand. It gives really accurate readings. Wang Long is a fortune telling style where you use the movement of 12 dragons sent from the heavens to predict your future. It's actually an energy flow like a Chi Myaku. So if you're good, good things will happen. If you're bad, well, you know, karma. There's no escaping fate, I guess. Okay, so like the fortune reader from the last game, which I didn't really use, which was kind of an ass thing for me not to do because I didn't realize that the uh, fortune teller in my first let's play of in like uh, Innocent Sin could actually give you like an EXP boost and stuff. I managed to use them uh, during my second playthrough the, where, when I replay the game and that was very useful for grinding. I should have used that first time around, but I guess I didn't realize it. I heard Takasaki Senpai and Chief talking about making you cover the Joker story by yourself. That way, you'd keep your mouth shut. Wonder why I put up with this. What? You have to work this afternoon? Give me five minutes. I'll straighten that bitch out. Yeah. Whoop their ass. Nah, let's think the positive. It's nothing. It's bad enough that she splits us up. Now you can't even take some time off? Don't give in to her, Maya-san. If you're going over to Sevens, let me call up one of my old teachers. She'll be able to help you out. And this is the guy who died in the last game. And that's what gave Yukino her ultimate persona, I believe. Fuji, Mizuno can be pretty rough. It's unfortunate that she broke you two up, but she's the boss. Good luck, Maki. Uh, Shunsuke Fuji, a freelance photographer. He's also Yukino's highly respected boss. He calls Yukino Yuki and Maya Maki. Ironic enough, considering one of the characters in the first game were named Maki. And speaking of the characters from the first game, when I replayed Innocent Sin and I went to the factory, I actually encountered uh, our boy, Nanjo, in the factory after following a couple of rumors and that kid, uh, Keiji or something? Kandori's son which I didn't know you could actually do. And then the other main characters were also around it. And I think in the other like photography office and stuff, which I didn't notice during my first playthrough, which is kind of weird and kind of awesome at the same time. All right, Maya-san, Serisawa-san called. She's at the reception desk. All right, where is G? Oh boy. My least favorite character. Ciao, Maya. Hey, if we don't hurry, all the good men will be taken. Maya's friend who sells lingerie, a girl skilled with cosmetics and infatuated with fortunes. Her bad luck with men has given her a complex. Maybe it's the Sonic hair. Might poke an eye out with those fuckers. All right, what? What you mean you have to work? Don't give me that. You weren't planning on going anyways, huh? Oh, I know what this is. You're still thinking about your deja vu boy, huh? Gah, I told you, just forget about him. Besides, how close can you be to a boy that you bumped into once at a train station, even if you felt you met him before? It's fate. What? You're not kidding about this work thing? I've got an idea. Let me come with you. You'll be able to finish your work in half the time and we might still make it. Da, na, na. See, look, the Wing Long is saying today is the day of fateful meetings. We're gonna go to that party. Alright. 
What's wrong, Maya? You can't go to the party because of work? Mizuno gets off on pushing people around. Even the reception lady doesn't give a fuck. Everyone's complaining about this lady. There's our boy. Alright, our boy Katsuya. Officer from main branch. So, Anna Yoshikasa. Y Yoshisaka. God damn it. <laughs> so, Anna Yoshikasa san started to behave like a delinquent after the hit and run by Kaneda. I didn't say that. Stop putting words in my mouth. Anna is not the kind of person who could kill someone. Miss, please calm down. We do not suspect that this student is capable of these crimes. No normal person could have done something like that. Sergeant Suo, please. I can do without the commentary on the situation. I guess that will do for now. Thank you for your cooperation, Miss Psycho. You're Tatsuya Suo's brother, right? Has he come back home? No, he hasn't. What the hell does he think he's doing? Tatsuya Suo, young detective of the Kun MPD. His current rank is sergeant. He has a little brother named Tatsuya. I'm sorry that he's worrying you too. Please excuse me, but I must be going. Hey! What's up, Miss Psycho? Were those guys from the police department? Yes. You work for Kismet, right? Mayuzumi told me that you were coming down to interview some of our students. Saiko Takami, teacher of Class 3B. She is very liberal-minded and she was hired for her policy on freedom. It won't take long, but are you sure it's all right? I think it's fine, but please be careful. Some of the students are still a little shaken after the murders. You mean something happened? The man who ran over a student died. And it's somehow related to the bizarre murders. I hope they're wrong. Damn, karma. The rumors about the Joker? The Joker is the only thing that the students talk about anymore. Supposedly, the Joker is the one who kills a person you don't like by calling your own cell phone. I don't know who started it, but it's creepy. It was a lot cuter when they were just playing fortune teller. Speaking of which, you said that Deja Vu Boy goes here, didn't you? Maybe you could meet up with him? Okay. Mr. Kashihara. Right. So, hold on. This is the guy, isn't it? I swear to God. Isn't this June's dad? Now that I replayed Innocent Sin, I think I recognize this guy. Uh, Mr. Kashihara. Persona 2. He is. Yeah, so he's his father and he lived in this timeline? He didn't die? Because I guess he wasn't making the book this time around. And like, the rumors didn't start coming true and stuff. And he didn't die trying to lock up time in the clock tower? Okay. Interesting. Alright, things are spicing up a bit now that I remember a bit more. Hello. I'm a fan of Kismet Occult Magazine. You know, the monthly May. Akinari Kashihara, world history teacher for seniors. Though strange, he is a kind teacher. I used to write books like UFO Discovered Underneath City, but now I like to enjoy them as entertainment. You mean like Zibaba? Yeah. I see. Another murder, I see. And the one killed is the guy who hit Anna. I see. That's why the police are here, I see. All right. Really interesting, really interviewing our students? But last period is over already, so there aren't many students left. Are you from Coolest? You're investigating the Joker case, right? Did you find out anything? They say the Joker is the serial killer brought from uh, 10 years back, and he brought demons with him. They couldn't catch him, so there were rumors of him being dead or escaping overseas. No. More people are going to die. Alright. 
When I was a kid, I heard he got locked away in a sanitarium. But either way, it's still scary. Okay, what's a sanitarium? I was wondering this first time I played. Is it like an insane asylum? I don't know. Why do they call it a sanitarium? A health station or a retreat. Specialized hospitals. Okay, it's such a weird name for something. It sounds like, uh, like, uh, like a sanitation station for garbage workers or something. My friend did the curse for fun and she freaked out when someone answered. Now she believes that there's a joker. So rumors are starting to come true like in the other timeline. And the box. Found two energy drinks. And we're going to the office like in the last game. It's locked. No, we're not. Oops. So let's go back down to this floor. Can we go in here? Um, the police are here, but did something happen? It's not a Joker case, is it? It has to be. That man I saw in 3B must be a cop. Crap, what's up with this school? 3B. Three A, three B. Lately, Tatsuya Kun hasn't been at school. He skipped classes all the time, but he always did come to school. The only thing on the fourth floor is the clock tower. The janitor is always cleaning it. Anna might look like a punk on the outside, but she's not like that at all. If it wasn't for that accident. I see. I got it. Thank you. By the way, is there a Tatsuya here? What was his activity? Or what What has his activity been lately? Jesus. Eh? Tatsuya? What did... What did he do on this time? This time? Uh, well, he hasn't done anything, but... Uh, I see. He's a delinquent. That's a police officer, right? Did Tatsuya cause trouble again? He never learns. Come to think of it, about that deja vu boy you were talking about, wasn't he wearing this school's uniform? A blue necktie means he's a senior, but are there... Is there such a kid here? I wonder if he's already went home. Now here? Damn, I forgot what we did the last time. Three B. Three C. Three D. Nothing here. Oh, wait. A box of stuff. Get all the chest we can get. Nothing here. 2D is locked. 2C. Did you hear? Oh, this is a girl. Did you hear? That group's name is Muses. Lisa and the others are actually performing. It just hasn't sunk in yet. <laughs> I'm getting their album when it comes out. Ah, I should get their autographs now. Yikes, I'm getting all nervous. Right. Maya, did you hear? Some girls from this class are making their debut. Do you believe it? I debut. <sighs> I want it to be a star. It's great to be young with opportunities. I want to be young again, Maya. Sound like a lady in her mid-30s. Some of my classmates are going to make their debut. I should be happy, but... Their producer, Jinji, is famous for making hits using fortunes. Are they all right letting such a guy manage them? Right. From what I recall, Jinji Sasaki is a massive pervert. And from what I recall, Anna was like one of the head honchos of the mass circle in the last game. All right, pissed off girl. In the senior class, there's this cool guy named Tatsuya. I dig him, but Lisa's after him too. That dirty. Trying to show off with some debut. Don't you think that's shameful? It's like pissing me off. Yes. Very shameful indeed. That's one way to get ahead. Wing Long fortune telling really works. I got myself a wonderful girlfriend just from doing as Wing Long said. Can't live without Wing Long. No, really. Alright. Heh. <laughs> matchmaker party, matchmaker party. I can't wait. Shut up. 
told you my birthday before, you forgot? It's in January. That makes me sad. So, you're a yellow dragon, huh? Steady and conservative. I'm a blue dragon, so, uh, seems we aren't very compatible. Oh, same girl. Oh, never mind. They're two different conversations. Alright. Down. Janitor's room. <sighs> it's hard. Cleaning the clock tower at this age. Is my meal ready yet? Jeez. You just ate. You're such a good for nothing. Alright. Hmm? The mouth on this poster is wet. Oh well. Right. Old man's kissing the posters. On to the next unlocked classroom. These are both locked. Can I go into the courtyard? Yes, I can. Ah, Principal Hanya. Hanya Yoshikaza. I'm gonna keep mispronouncing that name. I don't care anymore. What's with that attitude? The new principal from St. Hammerlin High. There, there he was hated and known as Hanya. Here he is also hated. Right. So, he didn't get Joker to help him spread the rumor so that the students obeyed and liked him this time around. It's because of you the police are here. We know you did it. You want a revenge for being hit, huh? I didn't do anything. Student of 3B. She doesn't look it now, but before the accident, she was a, a Star Trek athlete. How cruel. My own Nissan is not a murderer. She looks up to Anna and is also a track and field athlete, Noriko Katayama. How do we know that? I let you slip because you were an all-star, but you are useless if you can't run. I'm waiting for you to quit school. You can quit along with your friend Suo. Oh yeah. Tatsuya left the school. He dropped out, I guess. Hey you, aren't you gonna say anything? Who are you? I am the main protagonist. From a magazine, I see. You guys probably think I killed him. Write whatever you want. Yeah, Anna gives no fucks. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, right. She said that. That's just too cruel. I'm going to find that old man and complain. Maya. All right. That's so cruel. All he did was have his dreams of success come true. And what's with this? My own Isam was just unlucky in her time of Joka. You think Yoshisaka Senpai was pissed off and used the Joker curse? Yoshisaka is such a good student. Now she's with that troublemaker Suo. Going to clubs and my oh my. You're you're a crazy psycho bitch. I remember you. My Okumura. This rock looks suspicious, huh? But nothing comes up if you search it. World history teacher of 2C, who also has the first name Maya. I sense that I've met her somewhere. Yeah, she's a psycho bitch. Uh have we met somewhere? It's just that I felt we have. Yeah, you killed, or at least you try to kill Maya here. A megalith that was excavated when the school was first built. It's made of thermatite and possesses an abnormal magnetism. Legend has it that it's a guardian stone in which the heavenly being Hiremon sealed the evil demon Nuradatu Otefu. Right. Right now, Yoshisaka's a joker, eh? You don't know the joker of Wing Long? Guardian dragons are unlucky in this part of the circle, or cycle. As in other fortunes, there are streaks of bad luck, like being in a slump. I still don't get this fortune stuff. It's too shit. I just don't give enough of a fuck about fortune stuff. I think that's why. I, I don't care to get it because I don't care about it. I think that's what it is. All right, so we're going to the office of Principal Hanya. Is that a... Nope, I opened it already. Oh, this is the teacher's lounge. Wrong floor. 
God damn it. Stop turning my map. And then he's dead. Yep. And I don't think I noticed this the last time, but it looks like he's mangled up. Jeez. <gasps> wow. Wow. What is, what, what's with this? What the hell? Excuse me, sir. I want to ask you. What? Actually, it didn't seem like Katsuya was surprised at all. This is... My lighter. Ten dollars in his pocket. Damn. All right, sorry. The note he's holding. That pattern of killing, it's, it's him. Are you the first one on scene? Did you see anyone suspicious? Anything suspicious when you got here? When did you see here? Or when did you get here? Jesus. I don't know. Stop asking me things all at once. Hey, Anna. You're... You don't think... It's not me. I didn't do anything. You wait. Fiend. You stole the $10 that was in his pocket just now. Give me. It's my money. Hey, Maya, why are you leaving me? All right, good. Things have been set. Oh! What? What's that? What the hell is going on? Can't you tell? It's a demon. A demon. A demon. Who the hell are you? And what's this feeling? You got the letter, right? It's me, Joker. The rumored mystery man who kills them by request when someone calls themselves on their cellular phone. <gasps> I took a request, so I'm here to kill you. That's what the rumors say. What? Maya Manu, I know you so very well. Even what you did on the other side. Try and call your precious persona. If you don't, these guys will eat ya. Use these guns, but you can use one, can't you? Bang, bang with both hands. Criminal suspect 501. You're under arrest for illegal firearm possession and threatening a peace officer. Jesus. That came out of nowhere. And it's sub, which is fine. I don't mind it. To be honest, the English voices were kind of cringe. Oh God. Her voice is annoying. You know what's interesting about this game, for me at least, is that in the last game, Persona 2 Innocent Sin, uh, Katsuya's brother, you can see him at the police department and outside of the police department, but all you can do in that game with him was just talk to him. Same with uh, uh, this girl over here. I think after the gold gym, when she was being swindled by that guy out of money and she chased him all over the building trying to punch his face in, 
I think you can also see her in Maya's apartment and talk to her, which is neat. It's just weird to think that they were only interactable through talking, and like in this game, you get them in your party. They seemed like such irrelevant characters in the last game. That's what I mean to say. What's that persona? It kind of looks like the Joker. Philemon, my dude. Okay, so that was at the end of the last game where Philemon transported us to a different reality because Maya was dying because of a spear that you couldn't hear, heal her wounds from, I guess. All right. Hey, Philemon. It's a pleasure to be back in your pill-shaped room, if you will. What a fancy place. So, we're dead? What the hell was my life all about? I died a virgin. This sucks. If I knew I was gonna die today, I would've robbed a bank or something. That is not true. I invited you. My boy Philemon! Alright, so I'm noticing in this game, he's kind of like... Fading. He's kind of hologramish, but in the last game, he was actually physical corporeally. I guess he's weakened in this game. My name is Philemon. I exist between unconsciousness and death. The one who has granted you the personas. Philemon, ruler over the ego, revealer of truth, and creator of all unconscious actions. It seems he has awakened for some reason. Number 501 said the same thing. I ask this as I am in a dream. What is a persona? Your powers are hidden deep within your heart. Like a god or devil, it is another self. Like a god filled with love. Like a demon, merciless. Humans go through life with many faces. Your current appearance is just another face. And so is your persona, one of many. Another you with physical conflict, like our original forms? What is your purpose in giving us these? They've actually formed a conversation. I have something to ask of you. I underestimated that their string of misfortune was too Deep. They made tears of blood. This side, only you can save. What's wrong? I can't understand you. Warning. Rumors will become reality. Light within hearts of people. All right. Rumors will start to become reality. Are you all right? No. I've been roofied, and I've had hallucinations for the past 20 hours. Well, it seems like we're all alive. Indeed.
Hey, it's Suo. Can you bring some of that good kush to the second floor of uh, this high school? Uh, it seems that I have been hallucinating. I'm having withdrawals. I need some of that cocaine, baby. Anyways, get me Captain Shimazu. Number 501 was at Seven Sisters. The suspect has killed the principal and is at large. Uh, Maya, are you okay? You okay, Ulala? Yeah, I'm fine. Backup is on its way. I'll go after the girl. You two stay with me. You're also in danger. Why her? The suspect is that baghead. It's just like he said. It's a contract killing. I can't exclude her possible involvement. Well, she did say that she would kill him. Is this related to the dream? Rumors become reality? Is what he said, right? The rumor... The Joker rumor is true then? It's not the same though. It can't be, is what I'd like to say, but I can't. Not after seeing all this. I accept the fact that he borrowed our consciousness to give us clues. We have to pursue whatever he gives us. So that's why you were so calm. Come with me. Can't leave you alone. I'm going to. I'm a friend. I couldn't stand if, if you left me here. Fine. This is an extreme circumstance. I'll let you have the guns he left behind. Use it only to protect yourself. I don't need this. I do know how to box, you know. Hey, Miseko. What's wrong? I heard a loud commotion. The principal has been murdered. Backup will be here soon, so don't worry. Tell the students to stay in their classrooms. Okay, now, I don't remember what I did the last time. Did I go back to, uh... I think I went back to the teacher's lounge, right? I thought that the Joker was just a rumor. That's why I... I never thought a rumor would become real. Anyway, I told them to stay in their classrooms. I hope some backup arrives soon. Ilios. That's another me, they say. Another me, oblivious to myself. How ironic that it has to be a cat. I can't believe the principal was killed. Could, could it be the last battalion? No, that can't be. Hmm. I see, a murder in the principal's office. I see, this is serious, I see. So, help me out, I see. So, will you help me? Thank you. I have to check all the rooms, so go check the clock tower on the fourth floor. Here's the clock tower key, good luck. Ah, yes. Oh, really? The principal killed? Really? The suspect might still be in the school? Really? What's with all these teachers and the repetition of one word? Jesus. Alright. Alright, let's check out the combat system. Please tell me they refined it. Squishy, squish, squish. It's human. I want to talk to you. All right, so this is going to be the contract thing. Teach me. Blah, 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 blah. Big green is happiness. Yes, I know all that crap. I know all that crap. I spent a major part of myself replaying Innocent Sin trying to get all those rumors and crap for the factory. I am more than adequately trained for this. I just want to be nice to the slime. Alright. Clock tower time. Again, this feeling. The personas are calling each other? This must be number 501. I need to grind. Alright, so... I've just saved my game and I grinded up to level 8 and I think everybody is at their max persona rank which is good because it means they have all their moves. So we're just going to move on. Go to the clock tower right here. Maya used the clock tower key. Perfect. Clock tower. 
Plockety talkity. Ah, there, over there. No, Anna. Lady, you are my partner. I'm here for you. I don't even know you. I never did the Joker curse. No need to worry. You'll understand me on the other side. If you do, you'll realize that this side is the evil side. I won't hurt you. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Oh, and I've figured out how to make the battle system go by twice as fast. So basically, there's this thing on the bottom left corner. As you can see, it, it says normal and simple. If you switch it over to simple, it doesn't show the persona animations, which literally cuts down the time of a fight halfway, because that's literally half of the time spent in a battle. And on top of that, if we go into our configs here and we do start battle confirmation off, then they don't ask us if we want to start the battle every time we want to start the battle after changing strategies, which also saves some time, which is good. All right. I think we're good where we are. I think the only downside to this is that you really have to watch how you're doing HP and MP wise, because that goes by fast. So you might screw yourself in the long run when it comes to these long boss fights. But that one went okay. So I'm not worried about it. Not bad. Oh, fine. Just sleep for a bit. Oh, shit. Emo girl got taken. This is awful. So Joker's trying to make her his accomplice or his head honcho, co-head honcho girl again for the mass circle like she was in the last game. You're... Oh yeah, Tatsuya came in like a boss. I remember this. He got away. A young man acting older. He ran into me. For some strange reason, I feel I know him from a long time ago. Go to a detective office called Kuzunoha. It's an Ioba. Spread a rumor that you'll be safe with that emblem even from him. And lastly, do not involve yourself in this. Forget everything. Detective Tanny. The student profiles aren't reliable. So, it looks like another guy has drawn the old maid card. Those were the first on scene. Where's the other student witness? Captain Shimazu. He is in charge of the Bizarre Serial Murder Case Division, an elite crime investigative administrator. I sent her to the police hospital. The old maid is after the witness. Put some guards on her. Hello, oh, I heard you came in contact with number 501. Report it. Yeah, that shit was whack, yo. He had a bunch of weed and he had this paper bag over his head. Suo, you rest. You've been working too hard since the old maid appeared. Take your dad to a vacation spot once in a while. Tani san. Officer Suo, as of today, you are off the team. I heard that you were a superior detective, but it's a shame. Like father, like son, ha. Huh. Ah, 
I'll do my own detective work. Cause I've got all the weed I can have. That's why I try to stop you. So what are you gonna do? You're not really going on vacation, are you? Don't be absurd. The only officer to see him was me. I will be the one to arrest him. For selling weed on my street corners. Well then, how about spreading that anti-joker rumor that Deja Vu Boy was talking about? That's absurd. It's not logical. There are times when rumors do come true, but that's only... Would you stop calling me absurd? Can everything that happened up to now be explained, you rockhead with cyburns? Oh yeah, I just noticed... Actually, he doesn't even have sideburns. That's just his hair sweeping to the side, right? Yeah, that's just his hair sweeping to the side. That's, those aren't sideburns. Get good, you scrub. Sideburns. Fine. Whatever. There's a matter of the boy who saved us. Let's hear what the detective has to say. All right. We can't go to the party after all. Well, it can't be helped. That old maid is not normal. But I'm stuck on what he was saying about the other side and this side. Why do you guys call him the old maid? That's such a fucking weird ass nickname. I was just looking for Katayama. Why do the schools I'm always at have these kind of incidents? I don't know, Miss Aiko. Maybe the demons are drawn to you. The principal died? But I know that my Onisama didn't ask the Joker to. I just know it. Yeah, don't worry. Anna's not a killer like in the last game in this game at least from what i've seen did something happen i saw lots of police cars i wonder if the joker got to somebody again you know that this ward is on the peninsula of the tanabata river right in spring lots of cherry blossoms bloom they call it the rengadai because they look like wrench flowers on the water Honmaru Park is under construction. I heard it's going to take them a while. I miss going there to relax. This park is under construction. We can't go in there. Whose house is this? Is it okay to go inside? Right. Lisa. Alright, Lotus Stadium. Or shopping mall. And you know what? Might as well take care of or take advantage of this. Oh, jeez, this is a cool-ass remix. All right. Hey, Maya, the one who helped us at the clock tower was that Deja Vu boy, right? Are you sure you don't remember? Why would someone who you just ran into at the station do that? The boy you say you saw at the clock tower, you say the Deja Vu boy, but who is he? Does he know something about this case? Tatsuya, he's your brother. You know him. I am a member of the Sushi Nobility. The Sushi Nobility, a club for sushi lovers, uses this place to exchange information. To be honest, I love sushi and rumors. Even now, I was asking the man in a sushi toro for a rumor. Well, I am a really good salesman, but I became friendly with rumors. Now they call me a rumor manga. I graduate a set Hammerlin, a successful salesman who knows much about rumors. This persona seems to have helped his career. Rumors come in handy for sales, so if you hear a good rumor, come tell me. I'll tell you one of mine in return. Not only am I a rumor manga, I am a bad in a sushi, a member of the sushi nobility. Do you want to join? Alright. I moved here just recently, but I used to have this shop in Hirasaka. Why'd I move, you ask? It's the fortune telling. I was told that I'd do good business if I opened up my shop here. I had to move here. Right. Okay, that's why I was confused why this was here. Because this wasn't Hirasaka. Alright. Dexterity. Agility. Vitality. All right. Nope. 
That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, <laughs> I finally become president. I feel so important right now. Let the underlings do all the work while I eat. Damn. That guy there all of a sudden became extravagant. He used to always complain that the company president was in his way. Well, he probably got Joker to kill him or something. All right, let's go to Kaori. Uh, heal. Oh boy, that's a lot of money. Can't wait to like get rich out of nowhere and buy like two bajillion of every product. All right. Aoba. Another Joker incident. It sure is an unpleasant world. Compared to what happened earlier, the incidents have become more complex and cruel. It is as if a killer is changing. The more recent incidents with the Joker have become more violent than before. The killer must be a psychopath. There's there's no good or bad in murder, but it's getting worse ever since the media got involved. I see. I just moved here, but Ioba sure is a great place. It's very peaceful and relaxing. Also, I'll be well informed by having Kismet publications and Tomorrow TV around. There's even an outdoor music bowl. So I'll see some celebrities when I go shopping now. Only if the rent was cheaper. Damn, sick ass music. You can't just go snooping around the TV station. They won't let us get any further than the reception area. Alright, I guess we should go when where they want us to go, actually. Welcome. We take cases of all kinds, from secret love affairs to ghosts. Tamaki, while going to college, she works as a devil summoner. Well, no, I want to ask something. I've never taken a request to spread rumors, but someone did come in and ask if the Joker rumor was spread. Chief Todoroki, he used to be a flunky, but he's all of a sudden got smart. Now he works as a devil summoner. What kind of person was he? That's the Deja Vu boy, my SSO too, right? Tell me a little more, and I know what you're talking about. I see. Very interesting. The bizarre serial murders, the rumor of the Joker, the sightings of demons. It all makes sense if the rumors are true. I'll accept the request to spread that anti-Joker rumor. It's a good chance to see if a rumor can become reality. Oh. You seem to just have accepted that quickly. You're not going to report it to the hospital? The dude can summon demons. This is like, I don't understand why people have a hard time believing this shit when there are devil summoners. The world is filled with mystery. We can't be held down by common sense. Well then, a real man goes by his own rules. First, ask me to spread the rumor. Okay, let's spread that rumor. Spread rumor. Power the emblem holds repels the Joker. Perfect. And then that's done. That Deja Vu boy seems to be looking for the source of the rumors. I know a, of a good underground page. Underground page. Balfu, who's a friend of the chief, has a webpage with all the rumors in the city. He's in the chat room right now. Rabbit, you saw the Joker? They say no one escapes once he's after you. How'd you survive? So, you're saying I wouldn't believe it? Oh, well. I'll know when I see you. We'll meet at the uh, double slash in Aoba, rabbit. Tell the worker my handle and do what they tell you. Sounds suspicious. Should we go? 
Alright, let's go. Double time. So we're going to double slash. Now that I replayed Innocent Sin, I know what's going on a bit more. This is this was one of the rumor mongers in the last game. It's nice that he's come back as an actual character in this game. Welcome, rabbit. Yes, I've heard. Use that red machine over there. Rabbit, I see how you survived. I didn't imagine three Persona users. What? How'd you know that? I am the biggest cocaine dealer in this area. This is a Persona? You people have just become Persona users. You don't know how to use your chi, it's obvious. Afu, he's a tap buster and he has a webpage that collects all the city's rumors. He says he's from Taiwan. Follow me. His suit is more bright yellow than it was in the last, like in the PS1 version. It's hilarious. I see. Interesting. We said about all we know. Now it's your turn. From what I have researched, the Joker rumor are taken from some TV show, which then started to spread like wildfire. But before that, not even the J in Joker was known to be public. There is just one exception. What do you think it is? The phone of Tatsuzo Sudo. Hmm. Who is Tetsuza Sudo? The current foreign minister. How would you know? A wiretap? That's illegal. Don't be so stiff. It's been going around that he's been doing some pretty dirty stuff underground. That's 10 year unsolved serial arson murder case. It's an infamous rumor between police and investigators that it was his son. Is that true? What? You don't know? Well, either way, about this incident, you don't think it was a coincidence, do you? Then the foreign minister Tatsuzo Sudo has something to do with a Joker case? Well, more like his son did. He just concealed it. We are going to find about that right now. Take me with you. I know where Sudo's son lives. You guys get clues on the Joker as long as I'm by the next target. I will get close to the truth. What do you plan to do with the truth? Your objective is blackmail, huh? <laughs> My intentions are honorable. I can assure you. I can't let evil prevail. What should we do? You're being targeted, you decide. You understand what I'm talking about? Well then, let's test something first. Yeah, Todoroki. I'm in the Parabellum right now. Spread a rumor that we're selling weapons here. Hey, what are you trying to do? He's testing. I don't believe that rumors can come true, so I'm testing it out. Nice. I'm surprised. Hell, it actually worked. We have other weapons lined up. Please feel free to ask for anything. Then... Does that mean the rumor about the emblem is now true? And you're all right, Maya. So, what you gonna do with the emblem? 
If you keep it, the Joker will just stay away. I don't think you'll run into the Deja Vu Brad anymore. Think why he gave you that. And they do this weird cutscene for no reason, to be quite honest. She's gonna burn the emblem, right? I don't know if it's just me, but Baofu seems a bit more, uh, <laughs> a bit more, uh, crazy this time around. <laughs> Tsuno's son should be at the sanitarium at Mount Katatsumori. I see. Amano-kun, let's check it out. Hold on, there's a place called the Vevo Room around here. It has something to do with demons. Considering the situation you're in right now, you'll need all the help you can get. Let's go in and have a look. What is that? What does that have to do with anything? I don't even feel like explaining, just follow me. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Now, would you like a stick of banana up my ass? I like anal, as you can tell. This is where the different forms of people's hearts are called to awaken. By order of our master Philemon, we have been awaiting you. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. I am Belladonna. I sing for those who challenge the monster known as oneself. I am Nameless, the piano player who opens the closed doors of the heart. I am the Demon Painter. I'm the artist who draws gods and demons that dwell within people. What's up? We are told to assist the awakening of our year new hearts, your new personas. I'm very glad to make your acquaintance. Now stick this dildo up my ass. I love me some anal. Fantastic. We'll see you later, Igor. All right, so we're going to Mount Katatsumori. And are we going? This leads to the sanitarium, but it's kind of a long way there. We don't need to go around. Let's take that road. I don't want to waste my time. It was an accident up ahead. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Accident. Have you contacted the police? Not yet. It just happened. Now move along. There's nothing we can do. I understand. Thank you. What do you think? This is suspicious. There's another road down at the bottom of the hill. It's longer, but it leads to the back. All right, let's take that. So the one I was just... What is this? I was out hiking a while back, and I wound up on the back side of the sanitarium. It's pretty dark and scary. I don't understand how they can keep their doors open. Most of their beds are empty. Okay. And skip.
Ah, another dead person. Oh no. Don't make such a loud fuss. It ain't that serious, bro. They're not ordinary. They are all armed. Kuroboshi fired off all rounds. Cuts, stabs, wounds, bruises, internal injuries. They tried but got killed by demons. Guess that that about sums it up. They're not Japanese. It's the Tian Tao Lian, the Taiwanese mafia. I recognize one of these faces. Your buddies. Say that again, I'll put a hole in your face. You know what? I'm all for Baofu. I don't know. Was this even a choice? Stop it, Katsuya. These guys are dogs of Tatsuzo. He's been on good terms with them for five years when he was the Minister of Justice. Wait a second. Why would Tatsuzo and the Mafia attack the very sanitarium his own son was in? How the hell should I know? That's what I came here to find out. All right, let's go. Wait, a monocoon. Tatsuda Sudo. This must be Sudo's son's room. Let's investigate it. And crazy stuff all over the place. What is this? Illuminati. Quick, check under the bed. That might be where he keeps his weed stash. These pictures on the wall, they're all victims of the serial murders. It seems that Sudo's son is the old maid. What's wrong, Amano? You look pale. Something wrong with that poem thing? Oracle of Maya? Oh, right. The seven plagues set the frozen time free. Wild dance, shadowed festival, foreign song ensue. Thus flame of expiation light the heavens. The lion's roar echoes far and wide. Five skulls glow in the depths of the earth. The holy cross shines high up in the sky. Once the star comes to a complete halt, the Maya's maiden's heart stops with it. When then remains is what then remains is a paradise on earth, making marking the end and a new beginning. What does all that crap mean? Well, see, Baofu, there were actually really five crystal skulls in the last game, and that's about all I got from that. 
Heaven's Cross. Is it the Grand Cross that occurred this summer? Is this some sort of prophecy? You mean where all the planets in the solar system aligned in a cross formation, but nothing happened? What's wrong, Amano-kun? Is your chest hurt again, Maya? Again? After running into Deja Vu Boy, she got this mysterious bruise that nags her. She doesn't know how she got it. Oh. Is it the bruise from when she got stabbed by the crazy bitch? Thanks to Nearlathotep? In the pill of Philemon? Because if so, that would make sense. They're starting to blur the lines between this reality and the other reality. So she's literally almost on the brink of death. Is what you're telling me? Damn. I didn't pick that up in the PS1 version. All right. Fine. You sure about that? This place ain't normal. This room's vibes can't be trusted. Let's move on. All right. I'm back. By this point, you guys seen me fast forwarding through making my way through the sanitarium. And now we're here. I just want to show you that I grinded to level 19. I'm trying to blaze through this beginning section and I'm trying to get to the point where I left off in my PS1 version let's play of this game. But as for how it's going, I'd say the combat is way faster, especially being able to skip the persona moves and stuff. I'm probably going to have to, like, actually turn those back on for boss fights, though, because it's so quick to the point where you won't even notice some of your HP dropping to zero by the time the next move is done. It's ridiculously fast. All right. <clears throat> Tatsuya Sudo. You recall the other side yet? I see. I feel sorry for that, brat. You're Tatsuya Sudo, aren't you? The serial killing. The killings ten years ago. You did these, didn't you? You mean back then? Oh, how nostalgic. The voices won't let me off just an arson. They said they needed a sacrifice. With the chest all carved out alive. With the tendons cut so they can't escape. You piece of garbage. How the hell did you get that kind of power being locked up for ten years? Kotodama, you know? Kotodama, you know? You say something and it'll happen? The voices tell me anything. The poor excuse for that is this to me. Kotodama. The rumors? You said that your dad did this to you. Then why is he after your life? Shh. It's from the guys outside. Oh, yeah, the Taiwanese Mafia guy. Eh, give him a different accent. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that was the short. That short, goddammit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where are you going? If you're wondering about your men, I've already ripped open their guts. I'm free, you got that? I'm coming for you soon. Give that message to my fucking dad. What do you hope to accomplish? To keep on killing? To get revenge on your father? <laughs> I used to kill for pleasure, but now I only kill because people give me a call. Right? But do you get anything in exchange, or is it just because people tell you to? Like, if I told you to kill your dog right now, would you kill your dog if I called you? My real purpose is to right the wrong. This side is wrong, and the other side is right. My fucking dad doesn't understand that. You understand, don't you? <laughs> こいつに食われなかったら空の科学館まで行ってやがる<笑> 
This sounds so natural to me, like reading subs and hearing Japanese voices. Mostly because of uh, playing through the Yakuza franchises accustomed me to this. Alright, so this time... I'm gonna do strategy, battle mode, single. Wait, single, normal. Wait, single? I don't understand what single and normal means. Single. Repeat current sec actions, set actions each turn. Normal. All right, uh, and actually, that looks good. Battle and start. Make it real. I want to see all the stuff that my persona does. So, so that I have a chance to respond during boss fights. Hell yeah. All right, combo attack after combo attack. I'm down with that. It absorbs fire. All right, well, actions. Uh, Katsuya spell, single shot, finish, and confirm battle. And she's poisoned. That's annoying as hell. Uh, you know what? Let's let it play out. You know what? I'm well, she's dead. All right, stop. I don't want her to fall behind XP wise. So actions. Uh, Katsuya item. Revival bead, revive her. And Maya. Might as well use Madaya. Finish. Confirm. And I'll show you guys how fast simple is. Again? Dicks. I guess it doesn't let me do simple for boss fights. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. I didn't know they cut off that functionality like that. All right, item, revival bead. Ah, that's annoying. He really loves going after the Ulala, huh? What a dick. All right. Spell. Single shot. He's in the red. This isn't really much of a challenge as it is just annoying trying to keep everyone alive so that they could get their XP. Oh, there you go. All right, you just have to wait till the next turn for it to get active. God damn it. 
That is a pain in my ass. I wasted two revival beats for no reason. There he is. Hey, you, why'd you disappear when we needed you? Because of you. Cool cigarette light. Hmm. Amimo. You seem to have a reason. Did you know him? Knock it off. They'll find out without a report from us. Besides, how are you going to explain this? I'm an officer of the law. I can't just let it go. <laughs> can't look the other way, huh? You're too soft. Let the firemen and police handle this. And let's head to the Aerospace Museum. We can't let Pseudo stay on the loose. Candida started selling armor. Armor can be really drab, so I'm glad that they're making them fashionable. Jaheer, about Rosa Candida? I never figured out a boutique could sell armor. This is a comp competition I don't need. Ooh, he's a drugs dealer. Or an arms dealer, rather. I don't think we have any business here now. Let's go. Unan PD. This is my workplace. Everyone here is good, but they are on duty right now. Please don't cause trouble. Did you hear? That's Katsuya-san. Wait, not here. Well, tell me about it later in private. Okay. Can I get an incense set from this dog like I did in the last game? I'm not sure. Huh? A dog statue? Just like in that detective's office, this city has a bunch of weird objects. Hmm. Has it changed, this atmosphere? In the end, it's just a government job. Right? I want to work hard to become a detective. Then I will work hard like Katsuya-san and be popular among the female officers. But Katsuya-san doesn't have a girlfriend. Guess his work is his love. Man's a scrub. He needs to get some police woman puss. Hey! Employees only. You can't go in there. All right. Can we go into... Yeah! Maya, you've got something at home? Hold up. I'll get the door. Hmm, that's a nice stereo. It's a decent addition to this room. This is the work of a burglar. Is there anything missing? You should check immediately. I'll begin a search. Nah, this Maya is just messy. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you, but recently I've started to learn the flamenco dance. Want to see it later? I'm really good. All right. Let's get out of here. Seaside Mall. We can get fortunes like in the last game, right? Those who are lost in a maze of life gather here. The ray of light in the darkness of future. I am Sumaru Jini, fortune teller with a husky voice. Her fortunes haven't been accurate lately. They say her double roams the city at night. Hmm, this is thy first time here. Then disclose what is thy heart. The crystal on the card shall reveal the light. Hold on a second. Is her fortune not working in this game? I'm kind of... Sumaru Genie. Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. Eternal Punishment. In Eternal Punishment, however, he notes that due to a rise in popularity of Wing Long Fortunes, his fortune telling has wor stopped working. Later in the game, Maya Mano can spread a rumor that the genie has started using Wing Long instead, making his fortunes work again.
Light Dragon, XP times 2. Yen, Black Dragon, Yellow Dragon increases the luck. Red Dragon, Mutations, Blue Dragon, Silver Dragon. Emotion Gauge require 4 levels rather than 3. Okay. Well, that's a pain in my ass. I have to spread a rumor to get your shit to work. I shall tell our fortune. Thou as the loosest pad in thy shirt. Thou art planning to entice all the men with that sexy but fake body. It's a joke. Don't take it seriously. It's real, isn't it? From now on, Wing Long is the way. They say that it really works. Perhaps I should change it. I'm sorry. Since Wing Long became famous, my fortunes have stopped working all of a sudden. A fortune teller without fortunes. I must do something about this. Huh. Can I, can I spread that rumor now for her? Hold on. Let's go to the detective agency real quick. Spread rumors. No. Wonder where I get that rumor from. All right. Well, that sucks. I guess I won't have double XP till later in the game. I never thought a rumor would become real, but anything can happen these days, and only the young can keep up. Isn't the chief kind of weird? I mean, to me, his appearance doesn't seem to match his intelligence. Seems to me, my dude has glasses and is old. Those are like top two things in anime to indicate smartness. All right, so we're going to the abandoned museum once again. And, but first, let's heal up. Dr. Reiko, hello, welcome to Raggy Psychotherapy. I want to be healed. All right, and this is the lady. This is Maki, right? Maki, yeah. Hello, welcome to Hiragi Psychothera, huh? Um, you would be a Persona user, and this residence, Yukino? Um, do you know Yukino? Yes. I knew it. I felt Yukino's presence within your residence, so I thought, perhaps? Ah, I'm sorry, speaking all by myself. I'm Maki Sonomura. You can know his best friend, and I'm a Persona user like you. I'm sorry, I paused there because this song sounded, might have sounded familiar to one of the songs in the first game. All right, you can know his friend expiring to be a counselor. She feels guilty about her past. In high school, she awakened as a Persona user. And she told her true feelings to her protagonist counterpart. All right. Maya Amano? Amano-san? Yep, got it. You can friends are my friends too. Nice to meet you. I'm here to study counseling, so I'm helping Dr. Reiko. Now it's my turn to help everyone, so I'll always be here. If you're troubled over something, ask me. I'll help you. Dr. Reiko is a famous counselor. There are even rumors circulating that she can heal wounds and illness illnesses instantly. <clears throat> Jesus. Of course, she doesn't do injury, but she probably makes people so light-hearted that they don't even notice. She's great. A weird interior design, huh? It's designed from a fairy tale in order to calm an adult's hat, heart, heart, hat. Yes, calm an adult's hat. Why not? Well, it doesn't really affect me. Ah, would someone erase my memory? This gold is in my heart. Erase it. Study and counselor for the future. It is wonderful to have such a determined mind to move forward at such a young age. I wish she could learn it from her. Or even develop a small fraction of her determina determination. Bruh, Tatsuya has all the determination in the world. My dude fought basically Satan in the last game. Near Lathotep, whatever his name is. Alright, save here. Because I don't think we'll be able to save inside. Because it's going to be just like the last game. Some good old deja vu. 
you enter here, you may not be able to leave until you clear it. Are you ready? Yep. It's a good thing. This version of the game says that. June's on the... June's over there. I see him. Yeah. What are all these children doing here? We have to get them out of here. June. Mr. Joker himself. Or other world Joker. Um, I'm June Kashihara. Senior at Kazugayama High School. I felt that we've met before. Forgive me for asking such a question, but have we met somewhere before? Now that you mention it. You have too? We have met somewhere, but where? Ah, did you bump into a tall guy from Seven Sisters High School? I was passing by at the time. I thought I saw you somewhere. It was there. Then you didn't give me this letter, huh? Someone gave me a letter asking me to come here and meet a friend. I don't know who who it can be. It's a setup. Run, bitch. Hey, that stuff doesn't matter now. Hurry up and bail. What are you even doing listening to him? You're so vulnerable to younger men. We don't know where the voice man is. I set some bombs to start a fire. First one goes off in the stairwell. Other floors are time to follow. You remember, it's just like the other side. If you don't take the kids up there, they'll be barbecued. <laughs> I I wanna I wanna do a full laugh, but I don't wanna do a full laugh at the same time. Shh. Hurry up and get the kids upstairs. You're June Coon, right? Find that teacher in charge and head for the roof. Let's go check all the floors and make sure no one has failed to escape. Oh boy. All right, fast forward through all this shit. All right, we're gonna have some more deja vu right here. The plane thing with X quick, right? Yeah, and, and I think Maya's gonna start to remember. Her memory's kinda hazy, but she's starting to recall a few of the events herself. Hey, Maya, what are you doing? Huh? Did I hear a girl's voice, you ask? Yeah, I didn't hear anything. Hurry and get over here. It's too hot. Yeah, she's remembering Ixquick crying on the plane. Best anime girl, Ixquick. And I think back to fast forwarding.
All right, we're back. Went a little quicker than last time, and I managed to grab the treasure that was in the things instead of leaving them behind. Because why not? Let go of June. He has nothing to do with this anymore. Come on, remember. I'm not a joker. You're the worthy one. Guide us like you did on the other side. I won't screw up like the other me. A throw word? Remember that day? What are you saying? I don't understand. Yeah, so in Innocent Sin, or in the other world rather, June was being tricked by Nyarlathotep with false memories. Which made him into the Joker and made him want to kill Tatsuya and, and co. Because he thought that they killed Maya when they were younger. And that Tatsuya was the one who basically went through with it, but it was the opposite. His memories were tampered with by Nier Lathotep, which was disguising himself as June's father, from what I recall. Uh, what? Tatsuya? Deja Vu Boy? What? Is the Deja Vu Boy you're looking for... This is a surprise. What's going on? At last you're here, Maya Mano. Ooh, don't you remember this scene? Hurry up and remember. Stop. Don't try to remember anything. Dumbass. You can't resist your destiny. Five, four, three. Jump. Stupid. Let go. The same one as the other side, right? Even if you remember now, it's too late. Die, bitch! No! Oh, why? It's your destiny, bro. Just like what happened on the other side. Ugh. Don't worry. It's not your fault. Tatsuya, where were you? What's all this about? Deal with it later. We've got bigger problems. But how do we get out of here? Follow me. I don't think this model will fly. A rumor? They're making it fly by a rumor, huh? Someone want to get the kids on the other side of the roof or nah? Guess not. Nipple, the nipple. It's a big nipple. Tatsuya, how'd you learn to fly this thing? I'm the main protagonist, or I was the main protagonist. I saw it once. Whew. Anyways, we seem to be safe for now. Not yet. June, take the controls. Yes, alright, but how'd you know my name? That day didn't happen, so they didn't meet. Right. Uh, hey? Hey? What's this all about? Hey, Tansuya. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. My face. Again, my face. You're saying this is Destiny 2, huh? No, there's no predestined path one follows. Don't be fooled by him. 
Stupid fools, everyone's wrong. You, that bitch, and G my fucking dad. You're supposed to correct mistakes. Oh shit, my phone's going off. Hold on a sec, guys. All right, I'm back. Japanese shouting will never not sound like the shouting from ya the Yakuza games to me. It's just been ingrained into my brain. Japanese person screaming equals Yakuza guaranteed. I'm sorry. It, it's I, I can't disassociate these anymore. All right. Well, this is going to be a pain in my ass. So, uh, all right, strategy, actions. This time, I'm going to have Maya just Madaya everyone right off the cuff. Tatsuya, Agidine, Magnera, Magaru. Which is gonna hit two of them. Maragi, which is gonna hit two of them. Finish, confirm, battle. Blazing burst. Get this guy out the way. Shit. All right, this is this is what I'm saying when I say it's too fast and simple. So I'm gonna have to keep it normal speed for the boss fights, which is going to be a, a, a goddamn inconvenience because these older game boss fights tend to take so much time. It's ridiculous. All right, strategy, actions. Next guy is Baofu. Let's do Bomb of Life. Finish. And strategy. Actions, Alfu, Spell, Magaru. And he's running out of SP. Which might also not be good. Nice. Dodged. All right, strategy. Someone is not aiming for the correct target I want them to aim for. Spell. Magaru. I think that was it. Agidine. Aim for him. Magnera. Aim for one of these guys. Madaya. Moragi. Finish. Confirm. Battle. And I'm going to simple. After this turn. If there aren't any complications. Fuck! Well, that's a major complication. I forgot that he isn't weak to fire. He absorbs it, which makes no fucking sense. Because how did his face get burnt off if he absorbs fire damage? Whatever. All right. This game logic sometimes is weird. Strategy. Actions. Tatsuya. Gigantic fist. Fantastic. Battle move name, by the way. Fist him ginormously, please. Oh boy, Maya. Where's my healing, Maya? All right. 
Where'd my healing go, Maya? Wait, what the hell? All right, strategy. Maya, why are you doing normal attacks? What the fuck? All right. Actions. Maya. Spell. Madaya. Tats Tatsuya, not Tatsuya. Revival bead. And I think we're good. Normal. Repeat currently set action, set action each turn. Repeat currently set action. That's where we're at. So then why the hell is Maya not doing Madaya sometimes? Is it because everyone's fully healed and it, the game doesn't let her do it twice in a row if they're fully healed? That might be why. That's kind of annoying. Well, she's doing it now, which is good. All right, uh, strategy. Actions. Katsuya. Spell. Feral Claw. Gigantic Fist. Magnera. I think he is vulnerable to Veg Magnera. Maya. Spell. Aqua. Baofu is out of SP. What the shit was that? What in the seven shades of shit? I'm gonna call some major bullshit. I am so fucking pissed. I am so fucking pissed. If anyone gets that reference from white girls, Jesus, what was that? What was that? What was that? I don't remember that being that, <laughs> but whatever. All right, revival bead. Actually, no, screw it. Finish, confirm. He's gonna KO one of us, probably. Tatsuya, normal attack, Maya. Uh, Tatsuya is next. Item, revival bead. This. Ulala, revival bead. Baofu. Maya, go back to Madaya. Old maid. All right, stop. Strategy, actions, Tatsuya, go back to Gigantic Fist. Mm, Magnera. Feral Claw, Madaya, and just normal attack. Finish, confirm, battle. I hope he doesn't do that bullshit move again. I'm gonna be pissed off if he does. All right, that's fine. Well, not if you knock him out. Yo, I am annoyed to the max. It's not even that it's that hard. It's just like, God damn it, again, trying to keep everybody alive so that they get their bump of XP. Because like, 
the level up order is going to get messed up, and that's going to be annoying when I grind. All right, Ulala, Revival Bead, Tatsuya, Revival Bead. Maya, do your fucking job and heal. I think it's when I press stop. It erases the moves that were previously there, so I have to reset them, and I keep forgetting to do that. I think it's my fault. That's the thing. Oh, please, no. Okay. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Stop. All right. Strategy. Actions. Baofu. Uh, revival bead. Ulala. This is why I need a bomb. Beam bombs. Bombs of revival. Because they're easier to deal with. Because I don't have to heal people after. Feral Claw, instead of that, do this to Maya. Tatsuya, do your thing with the gigantic fist. He's in the red. Come on, let's just survive past all the BS he's gonna do. Hypnotic waves. Don't sleep. Good, nobody sleep. Stop. A strategy. Actions. Gigantic fist. Ulala. Magnera. Madaya. Normal attack for Baofu. And Feral Claw. Finish. Confirm. Let's go. All right. He should be done this time around. Yeah, he's done. He is he is totally done. Get good, you scrub. That was annoying. See, if I let people just die and without revival beating them, Katsuya and Baofu wouldn't have leveled up. And that would have been a loss of 1200 XP for the people who just were downed by the end of the fight, which is annoying, personally, how they do that. But it makes sense. It makes sense. I don't think they do that from three and onwards, though. That's the thing. Right. We have a problem. We're losing altitude fast. We're going to crash. Hey, hey, oh! Unless you got a death wish, everyone jump. Tatsuya, what happened to your cool lighter flick? Actually, never mind, he gave his lighter to June. Oh, wait, no, he didn't, actually. He still had it by the end of the game. What happened to your lighter, bro? Oh, yeah, there it is. I know it's not much, but please accept this as a token of our appreciation for saving us. I must give it to you. I just have this feeling. I have nothing to give back in return. The 
there is still a chance. Don't listen. Don't look. Then you can return to your normal life. Goodbye. The sadness. Now that's something you don't do every day. Uh, what? Tatsuya. Has anyone else seen Tatsuya? Calm down. He's been through a lot. More than you, anyways. He probably avoided us and went ashore somewhere else. You. How'd you know Tatsuya? He seemed to know you. What is this? other side. I, I don't know. I feel like I know him from a long time ago. Just a feeling he was someone important to me. I see. But the Joker is dead now, right? It's over. Ah, I'm so relieved. I can finally get on with my miserable life. Moron. Nothing is over yet. We still don't know what Tatsuzo intends to do. For once, he's actually right. We haven't learned anything about the pseudo family, Joker, or Tatsuya. It's unfortunate that our suspect is dead. I should let HQ know. Jesus, I'm having trouble pronouncing my S's today. It's ridiculous. All right. Haven't you learned anything, Suo? You can't depend on the police. Say that again. You're not only hard-headed, but hard of hearing too? Or is it just that you can't do anything without your badge? Hmm, that's what I thought. I'm the goddamn Cocaine King, bitch. Do you really think you can catch Tatsuzo by yourself? Good luck, bub. Say what you will, Baofu. Just stay out of my way, or you'll find yourself in the slammer with Tatsuzo. I don't know about you, but I'm quitting while I'm ahead. Maya, don't get involved. I don't think I could handle it if you got hurt. Cowards, what are you afraid of? The truth is all that matters. Don't tell me you're quitting too. Hell no. <laughs> Good for you. I'm gonna head back to my place to see if I can get a beat on Tatsuzo. See if any of your friends at Kismet know anything. I'll swing by and pick you up later. Tatsuya Suo, who are you? There is no one or there's no need to be here. What happened with the Aerospace Museum? Do you know, know any details? After I saw it on fire, the restaurant blip took off. I was scared stiff. The Aerospace Museum burned to the ground? I was gonna use the blimp if I... Now I have to find another escape route. Damn. Dangerous man really is dangerous. Sorry, just had to do that little beat. All right, uh, let's go. Actually, screw it. Screw it. We'll heal when we got everyone back on our team. We'll get everyone on our team, we'll heal, and then in between episodes, because I'm going to end the episode after that, I'll go around gathering rumors and doing my thing. Alright, so we're going... 
Actually, are we going to the police department? No. Wait, no, he told us to go to Kismet Publishing. Right. So, Aoba. I don't know why I'm pronouncing it like that when it's Aoba. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, Maya, the chief was looking for you. She looked pretty mad, too. And again, she's always like that. Thanks for taking the time to meet with me. Oh, it's that fortune teller bitch, right? She's part of this, so that's why I'm being mean to her. I think. Amano, where have you been all this time? Since it took you so long to check in, I had to ask Chizuru Chan. Well, it's no trouble at all. A beautiful Wing Long fortune teller, also known as Wing Long Chizuru. You, my dear, have a peculiar aura about you. You must let me read your fortune. You, you are feeling that you are not yourself. You are worrying about a young man. Tell me, do you enjoy life? Are you glad you came into this world? This world is made to punish humans for their sinful pasts. They are put through endless cycles of reincarnation. Where were you before? In your past life? Another country? Or maybe another world? Humans are connected, not only to the past, but to themselves in another world. You will change along with this world. Hey, Amano, it's not every day someone gets a fortune read by the great Chizuru-chan. Please excuse me, but I must get going. Better have something good to report, Amano. I didn't send you out on a field trip. Well, I was in the museum when it burnt down. Where's that report, Amano? Get to work, you slacker. So you... Let me get this straight. You called me into the office so that I can get my fortune read and then to tell me to go do my job again. What a bitch. Jesus. What a... You waste so much time doing this shit. I see. Wang Long fortune telling sure is amazing. Maya-san, what were you talking about with uh, Wang Ma Chizuru? I was just watching a TV show she was in. She said uh, she will reveal who the Joker is. So then, who exactly is the Joker? In Wing Long, the Joker is Joker, which denotes a human possessed by a Kagare, a negative energy such as sin or jealousy. Joker is a dragon, filled with Kagare. The Guardian Dragons will absorb bad luck during this cycle. It is a much more powerful negative trend than that of Tetsusatsu or Anketsatsu. Kigare calls forth further Kigare, and Joka causes sin to increase. The more people sin, the greater Kigare's power becomes. It is cause and effect. You must not let jealousy and petty grudges consume you. You must not perform the Joker curse. If you do, you will be possessed by Joka. Thus, those who perform the, the curse will end up becoming a joker themselves. Damn. And it's because of this rumor that she's spreading on national TV that shit's gonna go haywire in a moment. Wow. So then the joker isn't just one particular person? Way to screw us all, Wing Long Chizuru. All right, Baofu's lair.
It's me. I see that thing. Don't bother. It's not even worth it. Hmm. There's no changes in our plans. Hmm. I leave the rest up to you. That Suzo, Sudo, who is it? Who is he talking to? I understand. And I shall proceed according to plan. The Chief of the Kunai Police Department and Head of Special Investigations. I read your report, Suo. I suggest you check into a hospital for psychiatric evaluation. Sir, and what about that blimp? Something that wasn't supposed to fly was flying. The matter is under review. The sanitarium fire was a gas explosion. No survivors. And there was nothing left of the corpses. What fire? What are you talking about? I was just there. I'm not in charge of this matter. I don't have time to listen to your babbling. Sir, a message from HQ. There have been several homicides. Details are identical to the Joker incidents. That can't be. I want those crime scenes picked apart. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving. It's a waste of time to keep investigating. We should be tracking down Tatsuzo. Sergeant Suo, you are hereby relieved of active duty. Keep interfering and I'll have your badge. Be good cop, unlike you people. Like father, like son, right, Chief? There are the phone records of all the people who just called the Joker. Check every one of them. I can't stand letting Shinjo act so big. That is Awa. This woman, too. Don't bother. She can be used for something else. <laughs> the more pawns, the better. We have them right where we want them. Both of them. Old boxing gym. Come on, Ulala, snap out of it. I have nothing to do with this. It's not my problem anymore. Did you see that TV show? Wing Longchizuru was saying that if you do the Joker curse, you actually become a Joker, right? But do you think it's true? Is Ulala's last name Serizawa? Is it? It is. So she did the Joker curse. Right. I think I somewhat remember that. There has been terrible development. It seems that the Joker is not just one person. Ah, we have just received news. Earlier today, there was a fire caused by a gas explosion at the Morimoto Sanitarium. The bodies of the workers and patients have been recovered from the rubble. There are no survivors, the death toll is. Someone is covering it up. Obviously, it's probably Tatsuzo. Boom, boom, boom. 
The people who performed the Joker curse become Jokers too? That's impossible. They say what goes around comes around, but it's still hard to believe. All right, let's go. What's wrong with you? You look pale. Damn it, he's already done it. Amida is full of shit. It's Tatsuzo. That bastard torched the sanitarium to destroy the evidence. Even on the blimp, he must have had someone watching over his son. That bastard has got his hands everywhere. I tapped his home telephone and they were talking about plans to finish someone off. Couldn't tell who the mark was though. So what do we do now? Let's meet up with Katsuya-san. I'm not too hip about it, but there seems to be no other way. He's the only way we can get good information from the cops. If that woman's fortune telling airs, the whole city could be in danger. Damn, what a pain. Alright, let's go. So now we're going to Conan PD, I think. This is in Conan PD's in Kunan, obviously. Check around the victims again, he said. They should just leave it to us. Again? Do those management officials really think that they can catch that old maid like that? Hey, something really bad has happened. I figured. The fortune telling went on TV and became a rumor, causing everyone who used the curse to become a joker. It pains me to say this, but we can't really rely on my colleagues anymore. They're only making things worse. <laughs> a little bitter, aren't we? Just leave this to us. I can't do that. I would rather turn in my badge than just turn my head. I'm going with you. Or whatever you want. Maya, hurry, run before I change. Hurry. She's in trouble at the gold gym. What? Don't tell me she was using the Joker curse as well. If that's true, Zerisawa kun is going to become a murderer. Who would she curse? She's jelly of a certain little someone, which we found out the other time we did this on the PS1 version. Right. Mano kun. Must know someone who Zerisawa kun did not get along with, right? Anything is helpful, try to remember. Oh, yeah, that guy. Memory. Honey, I'm so glad to see you again. Not a day went by, I didn't think of you. Can it creep? Now that I found you, you're a dead man. This is all for the wedding fund you stole. Right, I remembered when that was... I thought that was going to be a boss fight, and then she came in. Hey, what's wrong? Huh? Are you saying you've never met this guy, but you recognize his face? What do you mean? That deja vu stuff again. Anyway, let's apprehend the con artist. We can't let Zerozawa kun commit a crime. I don't understand, but you can tell by looking at his face, right? What do you want to do? Just look around? Wait, let's try by Hirasaka first. Rumor says the head of the Izakaya bar has services for locating people. There may be clues. So, this time I'm not gonna fuck around like I did in the last game and spend two bajillion hours trying to talk to someone to get a rumor. So we're going to Hirosaka. And we're going to the sushi shop, I think, or the ramen. Yeah. Izakaya Shiraishi. 
this is different. That's not what it was called in the PS1 version. It was just Shiraishi. Huh? Mansage. Yeah. That's something from my past. But not I just run this pub. So you want to know where Conantest might be? Oh, a bar called Perebellum. In Aoba, it's popular with girls relatively. Maybe he'll be at places like that to fish for girls to swindle? Thank you, ma'am. I like the remixes. Rumor Monkey Toki, I'll come back for you. Or Toku, whatever his name is. Alright, so we're going to Parabellum. That is in... Uh, no, Ioba. Yep. About that thing I asked you for earlier, were you able to collect enough? Yes, I was able to manage three million. I can't be I can believe in you, right? Of course, I can keep my research going, then I'll be vice president of the academy. And you'll be the wife of the vice president. I love you. Ah. Vice president, my ass. You would believe that crock of shit, stupid girl. Yoichi Makimura-san. You know Ulala Serizawa-san, right? We're asking you to come with us under the suspicion of fraud. What are you talking about? I don't know any Ulala. You got the wrong guy. Yoichi Makimura, the con artist who swindled Ulala over savings. Makimura is the alias he used at the time. I see. We have reason to believe a woman who was swindled used the Joker curse for revenge. We were sent to protect him, but if you aren't the man we're looking for... Huh? That's all we need, another dead body. Poor bastard. It's probably too late. Hey, what do you mean by fraud? Who is this Ulala? Uh, uh, well... Uh, wait, please! Is that Joker curse thing really true? Help me, I don't want to die! Gotcha. Hey, Nissan. Next time, learn to be a better judge of character. Amano-kun, where would Zorazawa-kun be? Gold, the fitness club? Let's hurry. Okay. Fantastic. So we're going to gold, which is in Yumazaki. And I'm going to save. Perfect. All right. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to cut this episode off here, guys. Mostly because I've literally recorded three hours and I'm going to try to shrink this into episode one. Uh, which wasn't the case in the PS1 Let's Play version. In fact, I think by this point we were maybe episode two or three. I'm going to try to condense things a bit further so that I catch up to the place where I was before faster. Uh, but yeah. In between episodes... I'm probably gonna follow some rumor lines. I'm gonna talk to all the rumor mongers and see if I could get more equipment and stuff for the team. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Persona 2, Eternal Punishment for the PSP. And I will see you all in the next episode. Keep pimping my Persona wielding pimps.